up to this point you have added uh, mixed rationals by just adding an uh, integer part with a fraction part. Now what we're going to do is add fractions that look like this, where you have an integer part and a fraction part in each of them. And there are certain steps that I'm going to go through that make this very easy. Um, if you try and do other things, it'll take you a little longer and also this method I'm going to teach you it helps you so that you're accurate, as, as accurate as possible right away. If you follow the steps, you know for sure you're going to get there. This is one of these things in mathematics where procedures are very, very useful. So let's look at what happens here. First of all, you've got fractions like what you've seen before and notice you need to find the LCM to these because you've got two fractions with a different um, denominator. So of course you prime factor like you did before for the two um, denominators. So you prime factor 132 and prime factor 308. You find the LCM with the prime, from the prime factor, so it's 2 squared, 3, you need a 7, and you need 111. Multiply that out, you get 924. So if you notice here, the, second, the first step that happens here is, is actually is not even including that 924 yet. That's the second step. So let's look at, first of all, here, what happened was that you just add the integer parts because you know that you're going to have 46 plus 54 and a couple of extras, whatever that extra is with the fractions. So why not just add those two integer parts together? Leave that separate from the fraction part. Notice this says plus and then you have the fraction part. So you add these two together, you get 100 and then you put, you basically do what was taught before by getting the least common multiple on the denominator and then you figure out what goes on the numerator just like it was just this question goes down here. So you have this separated from the fractional part, you have 100 plus whatever that additional fraction is. Now you know that 100 plus that additional fraction, you just add the numerator, you get 1408 and notice that that numerator is larger than the denominator so you have to make that into a mixed fraction before you can put these together and that is 1 and 484 over 924 that then you add the integer parts together 101 and 484 over 924 if you don't know how to do that you may want to go back to the video that happened in the lesson before this now you've got to that point now you have to see whether you can reduce. Well, you can see right away that two will go into both, so you probably will have to reduce. And in fact, because these are two different uh, fractions that you're adding together, you can look at the prime factoring. So you may notice that 2 squared and 11 are common in the prime factoring. So you might be able to reduce by dividing by 2 squared and 11, or 44. And in fact, in this case, 44 does work. So if you divide the numerator and the denominator by 44, you will get 11 over 21. Whoops, 11 over 21, if you divide both by 44. All right, so again, the steps are take the integer parts, add them together, separate that from the other fractional parts. You add those together, you add these together, then you basically put them together and you reduce. Okay, let's look at the next one. The next question is very similar except that it has a negative in front. And when it has a negative in front, it doesn't change the rules, you just do the same thing. You do do the LCM again because you have fractions and you have a denominator. But you want to put these two together first. So you have negative 846 plus 749. Then you separate that from the fractional part. So that's all that's happened that first step. Very simple. You just rewrite it, looking different. Then you just add, well in this case you subtract. So, um, so you have negative four, 846 plus 749 is negative 97. And then you treat this just like you would any other fraction question. And you, re, you add, or so I guess it's subtract, the numbers in the top, and this is what you get. Notice that this is always a plus. The negative goes with that number, and that negative came from here, so it still comes up here. 
That's where one place that most students have difficulty. This is for here and for here. So that negative goes with that number. If there was a negative here, that would also go with this number up here. But there's always a plus, this extra additional fraction, and then you just do the calculations. It came out to be negative, so this is negative. And so if you have negative 97 minus an extra 3, 315 over 18018, you get negative 97, 3,315 over 18018. And that can be reduced to negative 97 and 85 over 460. D2, and how you get that again is you look back here and you say, well, I could divide by the 3 squared and the 13 maybe. Those would be the only, um, um, the only numbers that you could divide by. You check them out, and in fact, in this case, you can only divide by 3 and by the 13, not two 3s in this case. It could have been, but it's not. So. A summary again, combine the integer parts together, the fraction parts together, work with them separately till you figure them out, then you combine them and then you reduce. And that's it. Just follow those steps and you'll get them all.